here we are, Phnom Penh City. Walking the riverside, it is what, 6.30, 6.40 I think. This is the uh, Tonle Sap River that leads into the Mekong River over there. And this is a lovely riverside walk, which is beautiful. Old colonial buildings mostly. Over there you see new skyscrapers, but this part of town, the riverside areas, mostly colonial as you can see by the Moon, Le Moon Hotel over there. So here we've got a bit of evening street life. Lots of locals preparing food. What is that? I don't know, dried, dried beef, dried meat, okay. Looks, hello. She's very shy, but lovely. I don't know what this is. Yeah, so you know, a policeman over there, they do, they do almost nothing here. They just hang around. There's no trouble here in, in Cambodia. That's a good thing. So, yes, I very much enjoy walking around in the morning and in the evening. Look, this is a beautiful pagoda here behind me. A place of Buddhist worship and peace and calm. And you've got the modern buildings here, you see? Luca Sky Bar Tapas, Starbucks, of course, everywhere. But I'd never go in there because they are too expensive and, and I don't even like coffee. Here we've got a lovely horse statue. Don't know what it represents and it doesn't say so either. So, as you can see, it's very beautiful, it's very picturesque, it's very green. Lots of people, kids, with the school having fun, which is nice. So what, are you, what school are you from? We're an NGO. NGO, where? What's it called? The Mission Worldwide. The Mission Worldwide. Oh, the Mission Worldwide. Yeah. Great. Good, good work. Mission Worldwide NGO. Yeah. Hey, playing with the kids and helping the kids. So, there's, there's a lot of NGOs in Cambodia. These are, this is a beautiful view and greenery along the riverside, as you can see. Hello. Very friendly people. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And the good thing about this, this riverside area is that is we do have this beautiful promenade with a view of the water, with good air, just despite the robing over there. And then we've got this outdoor gym, which is fantastic if you use it. Uh, and you've got the palm trees, the blue sky. I use these ones for the pull-ups and the monkey bars. Pull-ups and monkey bar exercise are fantastic, as well as this one for dips. So one, two, three, Pull-ups, monkey bars, and dips. I don't know what she's doing, but anyway, having fun, I think. The rest of the machines are pretty useless. Oh no, there's another pull-up pull up bar there. This guy is pretty interesting. He's hanging off the monkey bars. That's not a bad idea to stretch your back. Dips for the back. Okay, and this is another dip bar, I think. I'll try some of that later. But you can see. Hello. People very friendly, old people exercising, young kids out having fun. You got see this is all colonial, old stuff. Lovely restaurants, uh, Metro Hakkasan, and lots of people. So well not lot it's, there's plenty of people, there's lots going on. That's what this is about. But it's not it's not completely overwhelming and overburdening like in KL City. Kuala Lumpur where I was two or three weeks ago. That was absolutely awful. This is just really, really nice. Locals, some expats, not many. Mostly locals walking around and enjoying themselves. In these side streets, all the side streets that lead off the riverside, those are the interesting streets. So I'm wobbling a little bit so I don't have my gimbal with me. That's where all the, that's where all the bars are, the red light. The red light zone, red light district. So there must be thousands of them there. So that's a big thing here in Cambodia. So a little bit of a problem, but it's a kids culture. But mostly the way the ladies actually just sell drinks. So some of them do go home with you if you pay, but I'm not into that scene. So I just, sometimes I walk past there, say hello and take some photos or whatnot. But yeah, I'm not into that kind of stuff. So there's a little, uh, little video introduction over about where I'm now living, the area, people, 
what it looks like. This is a great view. See, the promenade is huge, wide, spacious, lots of palm trees. Beautiful view of the river and the boats come out at night. You've got the, got the boats, the um, sunset cocktail and dinner boats. I see them from my apartment uh, terrace and they're lovely and lit up at night. Let's go over here for that. These are little uh, fishing boats. So they go out in that thing and they sleep on, the, on those things, under that shelter. And over there, we have one of the sunset cruises coming. And you can see over there, there's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're all, there's six, seven of them I can see already. And by nighttime, seven, eight, nine o'clock, it'll be more. And they go, go on till about midnight. All right then, guys. Peace out, have fun, enjoy life. Don't be, uh, what's the word I wanted to say? Don't be a dick. Be nice to people, be cool, and above all, be nice to yourself. All right then, have a good one, bye-bye. Rob here from Rob About Cambodia and robshealthcrunch.com. So remember to go to robshealthcrunch.com to read my blog articles and stories about health, fitness, life, wellness, self-improvement, and uh, travel. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. There is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia, health, fitness, wellness, real healthy food, and great lifestyle habits. Remember to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content that I think you'll enjoy.